Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the US Naval Forces, joining straight back from our previous episode where we did surprisingly sink a Shokaku class um, fleet carrier. At the, it's, it just uh, came out of nowhere. Um, just after as well, we um, upgraded the airfield at New Georgia to a level 2 airfield there. So very, very uh, clutch upgrade there if you ask me. These things are happening in our favour randomly. Very, very lucky for that. Uh, we do of course sink a Congo and a Chitose as well at the beginning of the episode. So hopefully we can follow that up today um, by striking the remainder of the escorts around that task force by hitting perhaps some destroyers, maybe some light cruisers. Uh, I do want to, uh, it's a stupid idea the more I say it, but I want to engage the Yamaso in a surface engagement with our Iowa here. So, uh, <laughs> just for something to do, of course. <laughs> Engage the Yamato House of Boredom. Um, <laughs> so let's go to the uh, strategic map and see what we can do about that. Okay, so I think we'd be a bit remiss in uh, not saying that we do, of course, want to uh, bring in some close air supports when we do bring in uh, that surface engagement if it does go on. So we're going to bring, uh, actually, the Essex just a tad closer to uh, help out with that. We're going to bring in the Wasp as well to uh, think about that. Um, and of course, we do have Melita and New Georgia over here now to think about that. Just uh, double checking. We have to wait 0.1 hours um, before we can launch from there and double check our availability. do believe it's... Um, Catalinas and float planes and some Mitchells as well, but we will double check that. So let's carry on and see what we've got. Uh, we are of course retreating with our supplies here. What we might want to do is actually keep some sort of um, site over here. So what we're going to do is actually just launch a single Catalina um, with nothing on it because it has like 2,000 kilometers worth of endurance there and that will just serve as a scout to keep sight over there rather than strikers of course. So let's carry on and see if we can respot that. It will be within the radar range so far over here. We have picked up some sorts of aircraft over here. Probably going for our submarine here. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Which way are they going? They are still pushing forwards. Interesting. Um, looks like they're going for Renault Island rather than anything else there. So let's see if we can... Uh, what can we get? We can get Havocs out. It's a very interesting, uh, very interesting choice there, actually. Let's go with rockets. And we're going to pick off a destroyer. So let's go in there. Uh, we might still have zeros about. So that might be a problem there. We will just have to uh, hope, really. Let's go in, attack that. Uh, let's turn on all of our air radars there. Should be, where is it? It's very, very dark. Ah, uh, we're just behind it, excellent stuff. So uh, we're gonna go for a destroyer, like I said. Probably gonna go for this Hatsuharu over here and another outline destroyer perhaps. It's very tempting to go for the Kitakami as well. I think that might be another pick for today. Um, so we're gonna thin the forces down uh, to hopefully just the heavy cruisers and the Yamato here. So uh, let's carry on like that. I'm just trying to decide exactly what we do want to hit here. I think uh, the forwards and the back uh, destroyers here are the likely targets. Gonna send, um, hmm. Let's hit one with, uh, I don't know actually, because it's quite likely we're going to lose a few Havocs. So I think we're going to um, split our Havocs up to hit one destroyer at a time. Um, if anyone knows exactly uh, how to um, get rid of, or at least delay, our ordnance drops here so we can strafe down before we use our ordnance, that would be a really, really useful tip in the comments there. Because um, I just do not know, and it doesn't make sense uh, to not be able to do that, really. What have we got here? Picked up the ships, that's not a problem, just picked up the other two destroyers there. We're just coming in, we'll see when we're in range. Okay, I've not chosen the most ideal path to attack here. Of course, it would go from either bow to stern or vice versa, but I do want to just go in and turn back round to their flank to get out of the AA fire to begin with there. Um, so let's see how our hits go here. Do have a lot of uh, rockets on the Havocs. Yeah, not too great there. This group can form up, uh, increase their altitude and speed and come back out. Uh, what they can do is go to the flank as previously suggested there. 
We'll take control of these, just to get ready to form up. Uh, not really the most stellar of strikes there either, but that's okay, we can deal with it. We can absolutely deal with it. Let's just get out first. Take a quick report. Um, where are we? Heavy and heavy on the number six, and moderate to minor on number seven. That's okay. Uh, the seven is actually this one, I believe. Yeah, it is interesting that we've done less on there. The fires are very nice and actually not uh, just a little more subtle on this one, actually. We can come back into strafe uh, because we didn't actually lose any havocs just yet. Uh, when we're strafing, I think it will still actually uh, focus or split up our havocs there to deal with uh, each individual destroyer there. So let's reduce our altitude once again here and come back round once again, stern to bow there. We can do that with uh, this group here as well. But we are smoking now, so I am going to very likely lose Havocs on this run uh, from both groups here. And the number seven's fire is actually getting really heavy there. Look at that. Um, still moderate to minor, which is rather interesting. But with the fires up, that should get worse. Just uh, tell these to get round to the flanks for sure. I think we could tell this group to attack from here. If we just reduce our speed by quite a bit there and tell them to attack now, should be okay. Uh, we'll do the same over here. We tell them to turn in as well. And then they could attack from here. That should be all good. Okay, so losing quite a few Havocs there once again. Uh, I'm going to tell this group to form up just because it's easier and tell them to get straight out once again. Uh, this can, of course, just retreat out. I think there's no need to keep that in the fight there. Let's take uh, another report. Uh, critical to heavy damage on both destroyers there. That might well develop into at least one sinkage. Look at the list on this. I know it's turning, but look at that. Look at the fires on there. And the number six, uh, not looking quite so bad, but oh, the fire's roaring out there. So uh, we are just going to hang about outside of the AA range now and see how those develop. And there we go, we may have lost a few Havocs there, but a very successful strike. Both uh, destroyers did go down, just actually as I was getting a bit greedy and going for a finishing strike on the number six there. Uh, but you know, we got the notification just before we started that. So uh, very, very nice indeed. Um, Let's carry on, shall we? Not much to say there. Let's return back to base, and I think we'll get some Mitchells out now, perhaps try and hit that Kitakami. Um, so, can we get those out right now? I do need to wait a little while. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Don't know what's going on over here with these uh, planes, but that's okay. And they are still coming forward. So let's see if we can pick this up over here. Is it worth striking? Hmm. Hmm. Is that on? There we go. What have we got? Maybe just a little too far away. No, there we go. Looks like we've got another Tenryu over here. Can we pick that up? Bearing's 180. I think that's just behind us, isn't it? Let's take a bearing on the map 180. Yeah, it's just to our uh, port side there. So let's turn around to face that. Our visibility is only 50% there. I uh, should be just facing that now. If we can't pick that up, I'm not too bothered about leaving that. We do have more pressing matters, of course, in the form of that bloody Yamato task force. This isn't like uh, the most aggressive um, force either. It's just patrolling for subs. And they have found them. Hmm. I'm actually going to make a decision to leave that alone, you know? Oh, no, we have, we have spotted them. Uh, come on, then. Go on, you've tempted me. You twist my arm, eh? <laughs> Let's identify that as Kuma to begin with, uh, and we'll see what we get. Uh, 56, go to Nagara. Mm, it appears to be an Nagara. Let's turn around to actually face that. How many torpedoes do we have in the front? We do have a lot of torpedoes, because we don't think we've actually used this group yet. 
So that's very, very good. I might have just used the uh, rear torpedoes, I believe, to uh, in a previous engagement. But with 60% solution, want to just a tad higher there. Should be okay. The sea stasis is four. No thermal layer. We're going to start slowing down then. And I think we're just going to fire. Let's go for four torpedoes. Uh, just a one degree spread, actually, because it's not the longest of ships. We'll fire off and uh, hope for the best, really. It can take or, uh, you know, take it or leave it, this uh, particular sinkage. Let's dive down and be safe. Ah, only two hits. Only two hits. Got one dud as well. Not ideal. Let's have a report, shall we? Heavy and heavy. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't want to fight any extra torpedoes either. Not sure that's going to develop, unfortunately. Destroyer's not too bothered about it, though. They just want to guess out. <laughs> Team play. Um, just going very slowly, but once again, I'm not too bothered. We can just send it back to port. I think we can leave that. I do just want to hit this uh, Yamato task force, so let's uh, keep this Catalina about so we do have more solid size on it. Um, let's see if we can hit it fairly hard here with mm, some Mitchells, I think. Uh, let's bring our Essex. Uh, Essex is coming closer. Bring it all the way down here, I think. Let's get some Mitchells with... Uh, the 2,000 pounders are very good. Very, very good. But do you want just more bombs? I think we'll go with the 2,000 pounders to begin with. Just uh, just a starter. And we go for that Kisakami, I think. Yeah, let's ignore that with the Catalina. And go in with our Mitchells there. Catalina should be about here. That's okay. That'll just help with some scousing if need be. Uh, speed up, see if we can spot it. We can. So what's about? So the Kisakami is right here. Is that what I want to go for though? This is going to have some... It's the torpedo power I'm thinking of, really. In terms of gun power, the Kumanagara is just that little bit better. Um, but I think we can deal with that really in surface engagement. So uh, yeah, let's get rid of Kisakami. Yeah, let's get rid of Kisakami. You never know how it's going to strike you. Uh, in a surface engagement. Let's dive right down again. Mm, do we want to dive or do we want to do an altitude? Because there is a lot of AA about. That's the question. I think we'll dive down and do it. We can bring in uh, carrier based aircraft for the surface engagement there. Let's go from the rear. And you know what? We're going to just do uh, the same tactic that we did with the. Um, with the lightnings there, just line ahead. Make them a little tighter to begin with, and they can source out their own formation when we tell them to attack. Uh, right now, I think, we'll be break and attack. Like so. Yeah, they have gone a tab wider there. Not too sure about that, really. Not too sure that's going to work too well. This one especially, just not necessarily getting on a line. This one as well, just uh, not too sure. I want to speed up as well once we get the chance. Because that AA is going to get rather monstrous. It is of course the Yamaso with the most AA now. And we will start focusing the destroyers very soon for that. We are all dropping. Excellent. Just before we get into that, I'm going to form up and get the hell out of there. Uh, altitude and speed once again just goes to their rear. And we can watch the bombs. Uh, one hit. Ah, maybe we did want to go for a higher um, amount of bombs there rather than the heavier bombs because that's just not going to sink it. Moderates and moderates is not going to happen. And I do want to just preserve our Mitchells. Having said that, there's two down there. Now three down. So yeah, just retreat out. Not going to risk uh, strafing that. Let's just get out there. So uh, less than stellar. Less than ideal. 
Probably did want to go for a greater volume. Or really just a rocket attack would have certainly done a bit better there. And not to worry, we have damaged it. Does look like we're going to get a collision here with the... Uh, no, maybe not just turning out again. No worries. We have... No, there. Come on, guys. Come on. You, you can do it. <laughs> I know the temptation's there. <laughs> Let's just guess out. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, let's guess out. Return to base. Um, what we can do is bring in some lightnings perhaps from here and hit some destroyers, I think, with some rockets. We can bring out some Havocs as well from Elisa to deal with that. Yeah, we can still see that about. Not a problem. Melissa's is ready. Let's get some Havocs again. And we're going to go with rockets. I think for some destroyers this time. Finish all of those off. Like so. Uh, yeah, I think they are going for Renault Island, actually. That's rather interesting there. Interesting indeed. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay, so let's just get these into a slightly better position. Get them a tad closer so we don't have to faff around on the uh, tactical view. Very lucky these uh, zeros are about, or whatever they are. Not striking our submarine. Alrighty, alrighty, what have we got? So, looks like we've got two possible targets here. Uh, we're certainly going to focus on the destroyers uh, this time. Or, or, do we focus... It's just too much choice. <laughs> it's just too much choice, game. <laughs> Torturing me. Um, I'm thinking, focus the majority, or even all of our rockets, on the Kitakami here. And then strafe a destroyer. It's a very interesting choice. Very, very interesting choice indeed. I think we'll get uh, two lightnings and one havoc on the Kitakami, and then two havocs to rocket down a uh, ha the uh, Hatsuharu here. And um, that sounds like a decent idea to me. I do apologise for the indecisiveness here, but uh, it's like it's just so, so much choice, you know. <laughs> So, so much choice. I'm in my happy place right now. This is uh, the best thing. The best thing for me. Oh, we're quite far away with these Havocs. Um, okay, interesting. Uh, we'll bring these over here then. And actually, that being said, these Havocs can focus the front destroyer over here. Let's increase speed and go down to uh, slightly higher altitude than that. Like so. Okay, let's go down to about 150-ish, increase speed, there you go. Zoom, zoom, zoom in. There we go, okay, we can tell these lightnings to attack from here. And these ones can go straight in as well, but we do need to target the Kisakami there. I'm very much enjoying the uh, strafing power of Havocs, actually. It's just work wonders on enemy destroyers. Absolute wonders. And hopefully they'll work wonders on the Kitakami if it does come down to strafing it. Which I'm sure it will. Surely it will. Oh, there's a uh, lightning lost already. Rather unfortunate. A few hits. A few hits there. Once again, pull out. We need to uh, in increase uh, the skills of our pull out game there. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. Let's go in. Try and get that again. Hey, few decent hits there. Form up once again and just get out as per usual. Like I say, it is a rhythm to these attacks. Let's watch over here. Let's take a report on that Kizukami. Heavy and heavy. Certainly going to uh, get one more rocket attack on that. No need to get all three Havocs onto uh, one destroyer there. Just try and get the lightnings out um, so that we can preserve a couple of those for a future uh, strafing run, perhaps. Mm. I think while that's burning, we'll actually get these Havocs over to the Kizukami there. We are going full speed, aren't we? Yeah, it's just rather slow. That's not a problem. They are rather hef hefty planes there. Uh, let's go... Let's bring these in over here. We do need to reduce our altitude with these. Seems to have forgotten that. And increase our speed. That's why they're lagging behind. 
think we could just uh, tell this group to attack from here because we do still have the broadside um, of every other ship over there to contend with. We'll tell this group to attack from here as well. Uh, we'll get these in and tell them to attack as well. Uh, it's just a hats of hatter over here, isn't it? It absolutely is. Absolutely is. Textbook, really, isn't it? Apart from a, a couple of losses. Cannot complain with that. It is going to happen. All in the name of not losing any ships later, though. So, form these up once again. Increase speed. Actually, how do I want to fly through this? I have to go through this way, I think, towards the Kisakami. Uh, let's, speaking of the Kisakami, let's watch this particular strike on it. Getting so many extra hits on that, uh, <laughs> on that destroyer there. Well, that's rather unlucky, actually, that we didn't get um, really any hits on that Kizukami there, but that's okay. It's absolutely fine. We can come back around and strafe it, which is the plan here. How are we looking over at uh, this one? What number is it? It's number seven. Okay, let's take a report on that. Heavy to moderate. Absolutely needs a strafe. Let's sort that out. No problem. Let's turn around with these Havocs then. Reduce our altitude once again. Uh, this group can turn around in a second. I think we'll just tell them to uh, go back for that now, actually. This group probably could have gone straight in for a strafing one on their way out, but not to worry. Um, I am going to preserve the lightnings, actually, just keep the havocs about. Um, I might have a plan to uh, use our uh, preserve lightnings in a, a later date. Let's reduce the speed of these havocs here just so we get more time once again on the target. As long as the Kisakami goes down, should be very, very happy. I don't see any problems with taking down the destroyer here. But uh, this is the uh, juicier prize at the moment. There you go. There you go, probably wanted. There you go, one more explosion. Let's take another report on that. Critical to heavy, that may well go down or at least get scuttled. Let's form up once again. Just for some order. And this group can just go straight in now, I think, and go for the uh, strafe on the destroyer. Should be very, very nasty indeed. Um, I think, just for luck, we're going to tell this group to go in on the uh, Kisakami. I'm going to go. There we go. Just uh, fitting around the orders, being a little defiant there. You know, once again, reduce our speed and just tell them to attack from here. These guys can reduce their speed as well. And attack from here. And we might as well tell these guys to turn around in just a second. And go for that as well. Just get them some time to turn around there. Here we go. This is going to hurt. This is really, really going to hurt. <laughs> Alright, well, it took uh, quite a long time, but those ships are absolutely down. I think we're in a very comfortable position now to force a surface engagement. So the rest of this video shall uh, just be getting into position and setting the final stages of that up. Um, because just uh, assuming that uh, we haven't actually forced this group to retreat now. So I'm actually going to keep the lightnings about to once again to help that Catalina keep sight. But we are going to tell the uh, Havocs to get back home. Having said that then, what is the um, distance from the Shangri-La? Only about 400 or so um, kilometers away. So that's not bad at all. Um, we're going to start sending out some strike aircraft very soon then as we start closing in on that. Just need to try and measure out the um, flight times and calculate that just enough so that we can send some stuff out to help that out. So let's carry on and see how that moves about. Ah, uh, they are retreating now. Hmm, might just have to go in 
for an all-out attack on that Yamato then if they're retreating. Maybe we beat them just a little too hard there. If that's going to be the case, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, we're going to get some hell divers out. Um, let's just double check what we have on the wasp. Let's get some dauntlesses out from the wasp. Um, with some large AP bombs. They can go out there. Um, what could we guess out from a lighter again? And not really a lot. They haven't returned. That's why. Uh, do still have three Mitchells about here. Let's go with the Shangri-La. Guess out some. How far can these travel with bombs? 700. That would do with the Corsairs, I think. Mm. Yeah, let's get some Corsairs out there with some big bombs. Like that. And we'll send out some Avengers, I think, as well, to make sure we get some decent flooding on that. But before we can get into that, our Iowa has been scouted out by some Mavis's launch, I believe, from Santa Isabel. Uh, we have changed our formation, so they do have to fly through some decent AA here. Um, what we're going to do is try and turn into them, actually, uh, with our Atlanta here, at least. We get some more guns firing on them. Um, and we can see about this. Uh, the this is uh, from a previous uh, minor bomb hit. Do not worry about that. We've already uh, dropped down one Mavis here. Should not be difficult at all. They've got to waste so much time in our AA range just diving down to a uh, decent altitude there. I'm going to start slowing down with this now so we can keep them in that uh, range there. Another one down there. Absolutely not a problem. They're going to find the small arms is absolutely huge as well when they get closer. If they can, actually. If they can. It's a real shame we couldn't get a service engagement. Maybe we did bash them a little too hard there, a little over eager. Um, but if we're just uh, coming in, um, we'll see in a second, we're just coming in with some um, attack aircraft to hit that Yammer. So we do want to get one massive strike on that. So I think we made that mistake last time when we saw the previous Yammer. So we need to make it one big decisive strike on that so it's overwhelmed with damage and it's uh, damage control can't keep up with that. So we're going to leave here. The uh, other planes were just uh, scouts. Do have some Dauntlesses over here with 200 um, kilometers worth of endurance left. Got some, ah, oh, wasted the time of the Corsairs there. Interesting, interesting. Might not be enough then. Uh, how far do these have to go then? I've launched these um, hell divers out with torpedoes because the Avengers wouldn't have the endurance for it. This is going to be very, very close. You might just have to uh, make this piecemeal again just for the uh, just for the chance to hit here. Let's watch the uh, watch the endurance go down here. Can have to move up to catch up here. Not ideal at all. Let's launch some. Not Mitchell's out as well, I think, just for the sake of more bombs. And that's going to have to do it. Let's go and see how this goes. <coughs> We're coming for you, Yamato. <laughs> There's a nice beach over there. <laughs> if you might, if you fancy it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and do this all at once, uh, which is very, very difficult. Um, <laughs> so we are going to target Yamato with these Dauntlesses. Uh, just turn round very quickly um, so that we can get the Hell Divers in um, at the same time as these Dauntlesses. Uh, let's just turn around like that. Uh, somewhat rough, rough and ready. That's okay. Uh, where are the Hell Divers then? Just here. Uh, let's move in from the front there. Uh, let's go slightly faster speed so that we're not wasting time. Go down to 40 meters. Target Yamato, please. Focus one side of that. Mm, the true strike on the monster here. The true, true strike on the monster. Uh, did we increase the speed of that previous group? Uh, yes, we did increase it to full, actually. Let's do that with the uh, other two groups then so we can all come in at the same time. And the Mitchells... Mitchells are going to go for an altitude bomb, actually. As high as uh, we have previously done. Just uh, increase it a tad there. Increase our speed. Target Yamato once again. See how these orders go through. Just fast forward there. 
no need to waste around there shouldn't be any aircraft interfering and there we go our hell divers are looking at getting in so we are just going to tell the uh, Dauntlesses to work uh, full speed and attack as a formation over here do it with every group there probably didn't need to uh, tell them to turn around there that's okay that's okay yeah the hell divers have already made it to uh, a striking altitude so what we're going to do is tell them to slow down to uh, striking speed over here tell these actually to move in a tad because uh, the Yamato is turning it's going to make it difficult for us it is going to make it somewhat difficult for us we haven't actually targeted Yamato with this group Tell them to turn out attack, because I think it's going to turn, make a starboard turn there. Hmm. Imagine coordinating your attack. <laughs> Tell this group to turn out once again, actually, like that. Give them something to think about. Uh, so much for concentrating your attack on one side there. Time to turn in like that so over here. Dauntlesses are coming in. This isn't going to be the most uh, well-timed attack at all here. Not least, just going in uh, a circle here. Let's tell them to actually move via nav points here. It's going to make it a little easier. Really messing this up for ourselves. Okay, let's tell these to slow down, add attack. Same with this group. I think that's a decent uh, target there. Getting a lot of Dauntlesses going. We've only lost the one so far on that first group. They get a hit. Some very, very nice hits indeed, actually. Very, very nice hits indeed. Oh, oh. But we do have to go and make sure these Helldivers over here are in a decent position to attack, I'm afraid. Do have to stop the action just briefly there. Tell them to go in. Very, very good. Do see these Helldivers with torpedoes coming in as well. We are losing some. Oh, for bloody shit sake, all of those torpedoes were duds. No. <laughs> oh, no. That is vile. Really, really vile. But, uh, you know, what can you do? You set up an attack and it just doesn't go your way sometimes. Moderate damage. I did forget about the Mitchells, unfortunately. So we're going to tell them to uh, come in right now um, and break an attack like that. So that is completely my fault for just tunnel visioning on these smaller attack aircraft there. Not that make a lot of difference now that uh, all of those torpedoes were duds. Really missing the fact uh, we couldn't get a surface engagement now. Looks like uh, this light cruiser is in a bit of a threat here. Um, or a lot light cruiser, it is a destroyer, I don't know why I made that mistake. But uh, you know, I think it's absolutely fine with all those torpedoes being duds. If these two turn out to be active... <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there you go. Arsehole. Complete arsehole. We have drops with these. Aircraft. Ah, mm. oh, it's just a scout. That's fine. How are these going then? Bloody misses, I expect. I was joking when I said that would be a miss. At least we sunk something today. <laughs> oh dear. You set certain things up. And it just doesn't go your way, does it? Well, we are going to retreat out of that because there's nothing more we can do here. Did only lose uh, three Helldivers and one Dauntless, so they can come back for more later on. 
but I doubt that's going to be a possible thing there just because we don't have anything else really in range to hit that. Um, what have we got the wasp? We do have a few more dauntlesses. Uh, that's not going to be enough to down it by itself. Unfortunately, the Essex, just a little out of range there, a little mispositioned. Um, I think we are going to keep this up here though for any future attacks up here. <sighs> I really wish uh, we hadn't battered that so much and our service engagement would have gone really well there. Really, really well. But uh, that's okay. We'll try and get uh, another engagement in today and I think that may be it. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys. Um, we decided to move our submarine to try and intercept the retreat here. And we've bloody found it. <laughs> we've bloody found it. Uh, we are in range as well, just waiting for a better um, solution to hit this target. Very lucky they're actually coming in um, into our into our submarines here, because on the on the strategic map, um, it did look like they were ahead of us and retreating away from us. Um, so that could have been the other way around. We would have had to be chasing them on the uh, tactical view here. But luckily, that's not the case. So, um, we haven't identified that as Fuso. Don't know why it's over there. You can see it says Yamato over here. That is what we're going to try and hit. Um, does look like they have some scouts out, so we are going to wait for them to come a little closer, actually, and go down to 30 meters. Like so. And that, I think, will do. Let's wait for them to get a tad closer, maybe about four kilometers ish um, because we destroyed all of their destroyers they won't really have a very good sonar contact at all i think really only uh, kumanagara might have uh well, actually that might not even have any um sonar either we could double check that actually while we're waiting let's go to cl we'll go to sensors and armor nothing on tenryu um nothing on kuma nothing on nagara excellent stuff or even the sendai that is not a sendai so all good there uh, what we got? It was a Takao, wasn't it? Miyoko has nothing. Takao doesn't have sonar. Excellent stuff. So uh, they'll have no idea we're here. Uh, we just need to watch out for those uh, aerial scouts. Uh, but once again, going to go up to periscope depth here because I think this is very acceptable uh, distance. We do have? Didn't even have passive sonar actually, did they? That was very nasty actually. Go back. Yeah, passive sonar is zero, so we could get as close as we want here, really. And I think we should do just that. Might change our facing here a tad. Just make a small turn to uh, port there and turn in a tad with this particular sub. I think that will about do here. Of course put our scopes up and use that uh, Gator radar. Like so. That is helping our solution quite a bit actually, it's very much needed in this visibility. Visibility incidentally is 47%. We've seen that uh, scout again. I'm not liking the sound of that, not liking the sound of that at all. Let's uh, slow down though, don't need to uh, alert them unnecessarily there. Don't want to take our chances, might have zero sonar capabilities. But you don't want to risk it do you? Now the Yamato does have 90% torpedo reduction. Uh, it is only on moderate damage with no flooding there. So we are going to launch every possible torpedo here. That will be six. That's a two degree spread here to try and not hit the torpedo bulge quite so much. And of course spread out the flooding there. So uh, how are we looking with that? Uh, yeah, well that's leading to cow. I think we should be fine there. Let's fire off with both submarines there. AC 2%-ish uh, solution should be okay. I'm a bit worried about hitting that uh, to cow now. Maybe we left that a little bit too long. Can only hope. Once again, not looking too bad on the uh, approach there, but uh, I can't judge torpedo angles to save my life on this game. So we're just going to scope down, go down to a safe uh, depth, even though they can't counter us whatsoever, they have zero depth charge capabilities. Um, having said that, actually, let's not do that. Let's stay at periscope depth and actually turn around just in case we fancy getting off some sort of rear torpedoes. Let's turn to uh, port side there. And uh, we'll see what happens.
And you can see that just missing with those second torpedoes there. Really, really unfortunate. Um, not liking necessarily the angle of the Yamato either to get our rear torpedoes off there. If it turns in, maybe, um, we might be able to get some off. Uh, it's turning away, really. I don't think we're going to be able to get anything there. Uh, it's heavy to moderate, but you can see it's got on top of the fires there. That's so, so unfortunate. All we can do is retreat there and maybe try and pick that up again. Because um, we don't really have anything, once again, to go and contend with that. Uh, it is also coming up to night time as well, so we just can't get any more planes out. So it's really, really unfortunate there. Really, really sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, it's just how it is. <laughs> it really is just how it is. Such a piece of shit. <laughs> Just can't get a Yamaso. I'd love to get that. Really regressing not being able to get a surface engagement, actually. Um, that's what's done it. Um, we're just too eager to get rid of the uh, escorts there and just uh, force them to retreat with zero destroyers there. Um, that would be it. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode nonetheless. Um, and I shall see you in the future. I've been the Edified Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious.